top 10 are covered by uh, two and a half seconds, which is a lot in anybody's terms, as Hakkinen rejoins the track for his third attempt. Current pole sitter, of course. Yeah, but I'm watching Michael Schumacher, and so are you, because here he is in the first sector into the series of S-Bends opposite the gigantic Ferris wheel up to the Dunlop curve which seems to go on and on and on which leads into the two Degna Bends, the right-handers named after the East German MZ motorcycle rider who defected years ago to Suzuki and now this is the end of the first sector how has Michael Schumacher done? Very well indeed, thank you very much five one hundredths of a second inside Mika Hakkinen's time but is the steward that's ahead of him going to see him and move over and let him through? Yes, it is. And Michael Schumacher should not have lost any time on that passing move. Up to the 130-hour short lip. And he made the apex just fine on the hairpin too. And, oh, uh, and that's off, Irvine off big time and lost a wheel, of course. Maybe even two wheels. We can't see the left front at the moment. So that's Irvine nailed to no better than fourth. Ten minutes left. I doubt he can get back. Uh, in time to uh, get in the spare car. Uh, thankfully, he's perfectly all right. You can see from the way he walks away from the car. But meantime, Michael Schumacher is fastest in the second sector as well as the first. This is what happened to Eddie Irvine. And it's at the hairpin. As he approached the hairpin, he runs wide. But I'm watching the monitor because Michael Schumacher is coming over the line and moves back into pole position. Three tenths of a second faster than Mika Hakkinen. Well done, say the Ferrari team. Yes, and I think Michael Schumacher was past any yellow flags or anything that Irvine would have created with what was a rather sizable accident. So uh, there's, a, there's a tale of, of much contrast in the Ferrari team. Irv, several corners from home, nine minutes to get back. I don't think he'll get in the T-car. He, he needs to be heading in that direction right now. But meanwhile, Michael doing the job for him and getting the other car on pole. Look, Irv's not even I've, trying yeah, to get back. Uh, I've walked around this course as you have, Martin, and you were saying, uh, uh, well, let's just watch it again and see what happens as he comes up to the hairpin, spears to the right, straight into the uh, wall, and mercifully he's OK. And you were saying only this morning that you'd gone off once and tried to find your way back to the start. You couldn't do it. I know, it, it, it's a snake pit out there, but... That's a very unusual action. I've never seen a car go in there. We saw Irvine have a very peculiar spin there this morning. I don't know what kind of brake strategy they use on that car, but uh, it spun him off there this morning, and that is a, is a peculiar accident. Well, can he retain that fourth position? He looks very mystified. Yeah, he's yeah. looking at the car as if to say, what on earth went yeah, wrong? He's, uh, he's as confused about that as I was, and he's, he's got a lot more information because he's sitting inside it at the time, but Irv is Look, he's like, what happened there? How did that happen? How did I end up? That is so... Un I've never seen a car go in there in any... any. I've been here 15 years, and I've never seen a car go in there. Neither have I. Eight minutes to go. This is Hyde's Harold Frenson's golden opportunity, of course. Oh, they're going to tip it over. Stop! It's digging in, and... Uh, well, this is, this is sort of crazy time, isn't it? But they nearly tipped that Ferrari over then. They, they've got to lift the front, otherwise the monocoque's just going to, going to keep digging into the gravel. Uh, try and find a motorbike. Yeah, there is a way back through the grandstands if he just climbs the hill there. But he, I don't think he's too interested. I think he's had enough for one Of course, uh, the front of the car's afternoon. digging. You can see the front of the car digging into the gravel. Uh, they stopped the session. They stopped the session. They're going to remove Eddie Irvine's car with 7 minutes and 44 seconds to go. Now, this could help David uh, Coulthard and Mika Hakkinen, who are third and...